yeah, frogs are pretty neat, but bats are the coolest things in the world. Sorry. <laughs> And, and we all live with bats, you know, they're everywhere, they're in urban settings, they're in rural settings, so we can all be part of their conservation. But the problem is that we really don't know a lot about them. And this is particularly so in the SA Murray-Darling Basin region, which is the bottom of the Murray-Darling Murray system in South Australia there. So what can we do about this problem? What's that? Inspiring Australia's offering citizen science grants? I think this is our chance. And so the Mega Murray Darling Microbat Project was born. They're, they're mini bats, but it's a big problem and we needed a big solution. So we had to assemble the dream team, the mega partnership. We have Dr. Kyle Armstrong, previous president of the Australasian Bat Society and also a, a research associate with the South Australian Museum and the University of Adelaide. Now Kyle's interests here are knowing more about bat species distribution, their population trends and also their habitat association. So then we can use this information to review the conservation status of the bats in this area. Because most of them, they're either threatened or data deficient, we really don't know. Then this is definitely a people project. We need the people on the ground to be part of this, to be helping us collect the information, but also to be part of the action. So we have Dr. Zanette Scanlon and Philip Roatman from the Discovery Circle. Annette Scanlon is also a bat ecologist and they will be running our social evaluation side of our project. We want to know what people's awareness of microbats and their habitat is before the project and also after the project, the kind of uh, land management practices they're doing now and any barriers that they can see to, to making changes on their properties. Uh, and it's also a mechanism for them to give us feedback as we go. But we really need the people on the ground. How do we get the people involved in the project? This is Amy Linky. She works in Mid-Murray Landcare, uh, which is a smaller part of our region. And she's been running community bat projects for about a decade now. And she really wants to see people making on-ground change for bat conservation. So we thought, that's who, who else we needed on our team? And then there's me. I work for the Department of Environment, Water and Natural Resources in the SA Murray-Darling Basin region. So being in the government, it's kind of my job to kind of bring the community engagement and the science together uh, and try and get also government policy outcomes as well for bat conservation. But I have to say that our, our bat club, our dream team, is only possible at this point in time because we are standing on the shoulders of giants. And in particular, this man, Terry Reardon, who has been doing bat research uh, for many decades and also doing a lot of community bat education. So how does the project work? So we have the mega microbat survey that people do when they start off, uh, no matter how they're engaged. We are trying to get as many as people as possible to take the survey. People then borrow an anabat recorder, which they uh, can then take out in their backyard or onto their property and then uh, record the bat calls overnight. They also put some simple field data onto a BioCollect portal or app uh, and also a photo of the site. We then get the sonogram files from the anabat recorders and from that we can identify the species that were present in that area that night. We then match up that information with the field data that the person has already put on and so we have the records together, which can then be analysed. And then at the end of the project we're getting people to do the survey again. was launched. We launched it in Bat Week, which is the week leading up to Halloween. It's an American thing, but we jumped on board with that. Um, we launched it through social media and our own existing networks, uh, and we also had a media release that was put out by the South Australian Museum, which hit the Sunday Mail, which is the big Adelaide paper, and all got, in, got into some other papers around Australia as well as into Australian Geographic, which was a great way to raise the profile of the project. And, and it did generate quite a bit of interest. But it, it was interesting that it didn't actually get picked up by the regional media because it was such a broad media release. And so it didn't really um, 
eventualise into lots of people, local people, getting involved in the project, which is also what we really needed. So we've gone grassroots. We are engaging local land care associations in the project, and they will be running uh, bat nights, which are always popular out in the regions, and that's a great way to introduce people to raise their awareness of microbats, and then hopefully that will translate into people doing surveys as well. And we're also going to be doing some much more local media, you know, putting stories in uh, school newsletters and also writing more locally focused media releases to get into those regional papers, which we know translates into actual on-ground uh, interactions. But then when people find out what microbats they've got around them, we need to give them something to do to actually have the outcome of uh, helping out bat conservation. So we have a number of... Uh, information flyers that give people tips on what they can do in their property to in improve bat habitat. Um, and also, you know, most of these bats in our region live in tree hollows, and if you don't have an old tree with tree hollows, you can't just plant one in your backyard. So we also have bat box workshops where uh, people can learn how to, how to make their own bat boxes and how to install them to increase the habitat available for bats in their backyard. So the outcomes we're hoping for from this project is definitely an increased knowledge in the distribution and habitat needs of our microbats, a review of the conservation status of these bats, peer-reviewed publication of the results, which from a, you know, a really grassroots project is really hard to achieve, but with all the scientists on board, we'll definitely be able to achieve that, which is fabulous. We are really hoping to have a very actively engaged community in bat conservation and doing things in their own backyard. And this doesn't look like a national project, but it can be a national project. We're starting small to get the methods right, but we have Victoria and New South Wales and the Murray-Darling Basin Authority waiting to see how it goes and ready to roll out bigger, and there is no reason at all why this project can't be rolled out anywhere across Australia. So, thank you. Thank you. Thank you.